Welcome students in my new tutorial and in this tutorial I will be teaching you how to filter the records. Now here in this spreadsheet I have entered some random data based upon different years like this is 2016 and the columns which I have given three columns and I am showing uh, the title profit of a firm and uh, the titles are month, year and profit and different different years are given like 2016 then 17 and then based upon each month the profit of a firm is also been mentioned. So, you can also do the same thing you can enter month wise data but I would uh, suggest you just to speed up the work uh, you can just type here like suppose Jan and after Jan suppose you will just drop it down and it will automatically change into different months like this as I am doing it. And then uh, based upon uh, this I have told you about the month then here you can just like suppose you can just type 2016 but if you do it it will again change. So, what you could do you can just copy this data and according to the months you can just uh, select and then paste. and it will be copied I hope it is clear to you the same thing I have done here also just to speed up my things and uh, based upon profit you can just enter some random data. So, I have uh, entered the data from 2016 to 2020 just to make things clearer for you. So, as you know filtering means to remove unwanted uh, parts which I do not need. So, here in the sense of spreadsheet filtering means here to remove the records which is not of any use. So, directly I will tell you the way how to filter the record. So, for, for that firstly I have to select the whole data suppose I have selected till here then I will go to data and filter see here data and filter I can use here auto filter three filters are there auto filter standard filter and advanced filter. So, firstly I am using auto filter. So, as a change you could see here small triangles small boxes are there three boxes and small triangles pointing downwards. So, if you click it here a drop down options will come suppose I want to see the record of uh, 2017. So, what I could do I can just click it here you can find different options top 10 standard filter standard filter we will do separately suppose uh, based upon 2017 I want to just check I click it here and you could see here the whole record that means it has filtered the records and rest of the data it will not show. Now, if I want to change of 2019 it will show so just imagine how much benefit it will be for the firm if the particular person knows how to filter the records here wise on a click you will get the result 2020. So, just now I am click I am clicking upon all and suppose I am making it from top 10 that means I want to see or uh, in which year on or or in which month I have the most of the profit top 10. So, you could see here 5 lakh 6 lakh 5 lakh means and mostly on 2020 the 19 also somewhere 18 17 and same way month wise also if I want to compare the month of each year suppose I am clicking upon uh, let it be and Jan, so you could see here the difference in 16 and 17 in Jan, uh, it was like uh, it was the difference was there 1 lakh, 17 also 1 lakh, then 18 it was it has gone down 80,000, then 19 it was the lowest. Like this, you have the options to compare. So, I hope this concept is very much clear to you. I have taught you how to use a filter. 
and auto filter. Now I'll be teaching you about standard filter. Before that, because I have told you that I have to select the data again and again, I can always name a selection. For naming a selection, you can just here, here you can, uh, this is the name box actually, this one. I have already given the name. Uh, for giving the name, simply what you have to do, suppose I want that selection, I have given the name. So, earlier I have given data, now I have given selection, it means same, I will show you how. Suppose now I am not selecting anything, I will click it here, I will click upon selection and you will see it will select the data for me. That means, this is a name given, name given to a particular selection to a particular data range starting from A to 2, the last one is C 62. So, this is the name given to the particular range. Now, I was wanting to tell you about standard filter. So, I will click upon standard filter. This is also very easy, you can just click it. And as a result, this dialog box appears in front of you, filter criteria, uh, field name, condition and value, such a simple thing. From here, the same thing, suppose you want to see of a particular year, condition uh, you could say maybe is equal to, okay, 2020 and okay. You will see here automatically it changes. Same way again I can go there, filter, standard filter. Now I change to profit and greater than is equal to suppose uh, 5 lakh and click upon okay. So, you could see here in whichever year the profit is more than 5 lakhs that will be appear that is filtered and uh, the last thing one more uh, thing I can check standard filter and and or, or two operators are been given. Suppose I am clicking on and and second condition I want to see year is equal to 2017. That means I want to see the profit should be more than 5 lakhs and plus another condition that that should be in year 2017. I click on OK. If any particular condition it meets, it will show. You could see here in the month of October 2017 it is 5 lakh. So, I hope uh, this concept is very much clear to you. So, I have uh, taught you about filter, auto filter, I will close it and uh, standard filter is also very much clear to you. So, now the third option which is left is filter, advanced filter. So, just now I will clear this standard filter also, I will make it to none. Okay, so it will show me whole data. Now, I will be teaching you about advanced filter. So, how to use advanced filter? So, for that, what I will do? Firstly, I will select this the headings, I will copy it here somewhere and I uh, will place it here month, year and profit. Just to save the time, I have just copied here or I want uh, when the profit is less than 1 lakh, I want to see that. So, I can just give here the condition under profit under 1 lakh. Okay. Now, I will just to save the time, I will just click upon selection or data it will select the data for me. Then I will go to data, filter, advanced filter. 
in advanced filter this uh, dialog box comes in front of me advanced filter the data is already been selected so of course you have to select the data on which you want to filter and then now criteria i'll just select more also and this is uh, okay uh, i have to select the criteria here so i'll just select this one this data this is a criteria that means it is checking the condition from here again i'll click it here i was clicking this shrink button now the range has been coming here and copy results where so i'll just click come on copy result because if i not do that it will show the result here only i'll just show you i firstly i'm just clicking upon copy results too and here i am suppose i'm giving uh, this from here i want to start the data i'll click on okay you could see here as my filter works so whichever year the profit is less than 1 lakh it shows me here so i hope this concept is very much clear so i'll use undo command and again i'll do the same selection and then data filter advanced filter so if i'm not doing anything suppose i am selecting this data and uh, now if i'm clicking upon okay you could see it has done the changes here only it has done the changes here only so i was not wanting to do the changes here so that's why i have copied the data to some separate location so i hope you are very much clear with all these concept and you have learned how to use the filter auto filter you have learned standard filter and advanced filter now with this i am closing my tutorial if there are any doubts you can always give a comment to me and just practice this because practice makes the man perfect and with the practical you have to practice on the pc those who don't have pc they can install the spreadsheet software open office is available on uh, play store so you can install it from there although little bit interface is not same if you are installing it the things will be clearer based upon formulas so i am closing till then bye